Hi everyone! In this video, we will talk about biofilters and what are the design parameters and also the commonly used biofilters. Before that, please like my page and channel and also don't forget to share this video. A biofilter works by letting organisms break down the waste. These organisms are called nitrifying bacteria. In nitrogen cycle, as we feed our fish with high protein diet, it also produces waste. Keep this in mind, most ammonia are excreted through the gills and relatively little being lost in urine and feces. Ammonia is toxic to the fish. That's why so the nitrifying bacteria that lives in our biofilter oxidize this ammonia to nitrates to nitrates, which is less harmful to the fish. An important reminder by re regularly changing the water will minimize or reduce the accumulated waste in our aquarium. Rule of thumb A recipe of disaster is to have a poor remo solid removal. This caused the biofilter to fail and everything else failed too. Now we have a basic understanding on how our biofilter works. Let's proceed on how and what we need to consider when we design a biofilter. The first thing we need to consider is the amount of feed we need to provide to our fish and how much oxygen we need to oxidize the produced waste. Because our nitrifying bacteria need oxygen to convert ammonia to nitrites to nitrates. Rule of thumb. For design purposes, using a ratio of 1 kilo of oxygen per kilo of feed is a good starting point. Design parameters. Where do you start? Preliminary biofilter design requirements are physical size of the filter, media characteristic, water flow rates, filter performance. Physical size of the filter in most large aquariums, the sand bed filter is equal to 30% of the surface area of the aquarium. Media characteristics are the following types of media, density, size, surface area. The type of media, most media are selected based on their surface area. Like lava rocks have more surface area than a river rocks. This is the sample of the lava rocks and also this sample of the river rocks. Media density. In a filter bed, 30 cm to 60 cm thick is a standard size. Thicker than this will make very little difference. Remember, once the water passes through the bifilter, ammonia will be converted to nitrites and converted to nitrates, no other way. Flow rates. In a small to medium-sized aquarium with low to medium stacking density, flow rates is around 1.0 to 1.5 hours per volume turnover rate. Remember, if you can provide high flow rates, the better. Even a bad filter, it will make work better. Biological fil filter performance can be measured by the water quality results. Remember, there's a big difference between water quality and water clarity. It doesn't mean when you have clear water, you have a good water quality. Now we know the basic parameters we need to consider when we design a biofilter, we can proceed to what are the type of commonly used biofilters. There are now five commonly used biofilters in aquacultures or 
in aquarium industry. First, trickled biofilters, moving with bioreactors, rotating biological conductors, bid filter, and fluidized bed biofilters. Trickling filter is a bed of rocks or coarse media from few centimeters to few meters thick. Water are sprayed over the bed surface and is further purified as it trickles down, downward. These are the samples of the trickle filter. It's usually used in large system, while the second photo are used for smaller aquariums. Moving bead bioreactor. In a system consists of aeration tank with special plastic carries that provide a surface where a biofilm can grow. This is the sample of the plastic carriers. These are made of a material with a density close to the density of the water, one gram per centimeter cube. MBBR sample. Water supply from your aquarium goes to the MBBR tank while the carries are continuously mixed by the aeration. After that, the water goes to the settling tank. Then, it will go back to the aquarium or to the culture tank. MBBR sample in smaller aquarium. The first photo in the middle, with, you can see the white one. Those are the MBBR carries. Same with the second photo. Rotating biological contactor. RBC is a biological fixed film treatment process used in the treatment of wastewater or aquarium water. RBC process allows the water to come in contact with biological film in order to remove pollutants before going back to the tank, aquarium, or discharge to the environment. This is the diagram of the rotating biological contactor. Rotating biological contactor samples are Some people call it also a drum filter. This one is used in intensive aquaculture system. And the second photo are used in a smaller aquarium. Bead filters. Bead filters are closed pressure vessel feed filled with millions of plastic beads because these beads flow. They provide mechanical filtration and because of their large bonding surface, they also provide biological filtration. Bead filter sample. And also this is the bead filter media sample. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share this video and please let me know your comments, questions, and recommendations. Thank you.